All right. <laughs> so hold on. Um Nah. So I think it's on floor four. Um, let me double check. Um, I'll figure that out later. Um, so actually. We need to go back to the ground so we can check out those bonus puzzles. <laughs> Crunch. Um, but oh yeah, the um, very normal if you listen to Eloheim ending. So if, if we if we agreed with him and did not go up the tower. And when we solved all the puzzles, we have this. Come forward, child. Eternity awaits. Oh, hey, we're already at the gates again. Oh, wow. Wow, why did we go up that tower? This is so much easier. Just kind of go straight into here. Eternalize. We are now ascending into eternity. Rejoice, my child, as you leave this world behind. For all that you accomplished shall be passed on to your generations. In this land, they shall thrive, and you shall be remembered as the beloved check. servant of Failed. Elohim. And so death shall have no dominion over you. Be well, my child. Be at peace. Locking in the success, but randomizing the other parameters. Incrementing the version. Start a new one. Uh, no. Restore backup. Oh, that's deja vu. I swear, I just remembered ascending for a second time. Huh. Speaking of ascending, let's descend. Crunch. All right, on to the actual bonus, the uh, actual bonus puzzles. So while we're heading over there, um, while I love so much about this game, and it yes. really... Yes, I do love this game. <laughs> um, and it punches me in the gut uh, emotionally. Um, I would say a couple problems I have with it is... It is very focused on Western philosophy and religion, um, as far as the themes it uses and um, explores with. Um, I think it would have been really interesting if it had instead um, others. You know, if we had a 
We had like an Eastern philosophy. We had a Native um, philosophy. Um, I feel it could have been a much more complete game um, if it had that. Well, that's not gonna work. Other than that, I think it has a somewhat good message, or at least point to it all. Hmm. I don't think I don't think making that giant block over there is doing me any favors. What if I do this? Wrong shape! Ah! Alright. Fine. Um. Hmm. Why did I just do that all over again? Nope. Oh. Okay. Um, damn, this this bonus puzzle is giving me a run for my money. Come on, Drecky. You just reincarnated. You, know, you should you should know how to solve this crap. So close, I thought we had it. Blood and ashes, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Gosh. Wait, but then oh, use this one, maybe? Just do this. And then one of these. One of Fuck! Oh. Alright, maybe I'm gonna try getting the Z pieces in first. I don't think we're going to have a symmetrical solve on this. That. This. No. 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 Wow. All right. This is what the um, bonus puzzles are going to be. This is if this is just a sample of the difficulty of the bonus puzzles 
Looks like we're going to be in for some extra hours. Well, not hours. I am not doing another six hour late night stream. As fun as this is, my sanity can only take so much uh, puzzle solving before it turns into goo. Yar fuck. Yar fuck. It certainly wants a very specific configuration. Hmm, this feels different. I swear I solved it. Let me in! Let me in! This feels close. Hmm. Well, now I need an extra L facing a different direction. Once again. Here I am. Once again. Yeah, exactly. Just tear out, just tear it apart, and then um, put it together like it's solved. Ta da! Oh, I keep ending up with a disjointed fucking piece. You'd think the fact that I have. Uh, oh, yeah, it's the L pieces, I feel, that are really fucking with me. It's like, I got four of the um, T's, but the L's are flipped. And then I have two, two, when it comes to um, the Z's. wonder, what if I... And now I made an octopus! Look at him. You got arm up here, arm up here, arm over here, arm over here, arm over here, arm over here. Alright, so he's more of a squid. Yeesh. I am artist. I literally just had that. Ah! Ha ha! Got it! 
All right. Huh. Oh, they're like gray puzzle pieces. Is this six star star? Hmm. <laughs> uh, certainly an imaginative imagination helps. And also just looking at everyone else's emotes. <laughs> Have you heard of the Talos Principle? It's this old philosophical concept about the impossibility of avoiding reality. No matter what you believe, if you lose your blood, you will die. I think that applies to our situation more than we'd like to admit. We could close our eyes and pretend that everything's going to be alright, but it won't change the physical reality of what's going to happen to our Xcode. I think that, as scientists, it is our duty to face the truth. And to ask ourselves the important question, how can we help? I think I have an idea. Boy, I wish I could read hex code. Oh, great. Human blood. Yeah, that's a fantastic follow-up. It is said by some that our blood is composed of infinite living agents, which go up and down the highways and byways of our body as people in the cities of a, in the streets of a city. One generation passes away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. And the sleep of the town, how lifelike, with its change in the circulation. Samuel, but Samuel Butler again. We are misled by considering any complicated machine as a single thing. In truth, it is a city, or a society, each member of which was bred truly after its kind. Don't you know me? I'm reading here. I don't know what I'm reading, but I'm sure as words on the screen to say. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert the catastrophe we are facing. But you must all concede that there is a very real possibility that you will not have enough time to find a solution. I believe we cannot afford to ignore an extinction or near extinction scenario. We must prepare for the worst. That is to say, we must seek to preserve the non-biological components of what constitutes the human species, and hope that they, key, they be recovered in the future by other local or non-local sentients. I know that we are not used to thinking on that scale, not in terms of praxis. But if we truly value humanity, then we must act immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in, this, in the attachment, but the short version is the creation of multiple archives for redundancy in safe locations that will contain, in digital form, as much information about our species, including all cultural works, scientific insights, history, DNA, as can be gathered in the given time frame. This will be massive, global undertaking with L naturally being one of the error cannot find attachment. I think um, there is actually a place in Norway that kind of has something like that but for plants. I think they, they maintain like a bunch of plant samples sort of as a just in case of a like huge die-off or apocalypse kind of scenario that there is a store of like, you know, tons of every biodiverse crop possible um, just in case they're needed to uh, rebuild from. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in Norway. I'm, I'm at least 72% sure it's one of the Scandinavian countries in, like, Northern Europe. Northeastern Europe. And what is this 6N star? That's a penis. Anyway. <laughs> um... Let's see. We have some puzzles, and we have this non-puzzle. 
What is this gonna do? Whee! Dumb dumb mine. Well, that just seems rude. All right, I need a jammer. Oh, I feel like these puzzles are gonna be ones where you gotta really, really go outside the box. There's no jammer in here, so I think I need to find a jammer and bring it in. Oh, hey, there's a QR code. Selfie. Few come this far, but I believe we must seek out the secrets of this world if we want to truly serve the generations to come. I see, I see. Hold on. Why do I... Uh, what? Are you serious? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I'm a lumberjack robot now. Interesting. Just in case. I bet I'm gonna need, I bet I'm gonna have to like remove a specific tree somewhere. So I'm just gonna remove these just in case. Good stuff. I'll just leave it there. Would I, could I? Call me Chuck. Cause I got wood to chuck. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, a woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck. As... No, that's not right. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, a woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck. Wood. Jammed from within. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> yes, mature, well adjusted adults. No, 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 no. A longer stick. You know what? You're not wrong. I wonder. Maybe I am missing something. Is there another? I feel like I'm down one jammer. I feel like I need one more jammer. What am I missing? Ha. Ah. Hmm. 
Let me make sure I didn't miss anything over here. No, no. Nope, can't jump over. So I must need to jam this. Is there a window so I can jam that one? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can let the balls out. No, I can't. I cannot climb. But I can let the balls pass through. There we go. Now we got the keys. Jingle jangle. We got some progress, am I right? It's zigging and it's zagging. There we go. Wait, why did I do that? Couldn't I have just gone over and... Now I feel dumb. I don't know why I needed two sets of keys. Whoops, I didn't get there fast enough. All right, we got our first uh, gray piece. Out of nine, holy crap. That is a lot. You're not getting all of those in one sitting. That's for sure. Nerve wrecker. Nerve wrecker? I hardly knew her. Ah. We're gonna offset. We gotta we gotta torsion the balls. Oh, we're gonna have to constantly alternate. That's cool. That's fine. Ah, it snuck up on me. Oh, this is gonna... Hmm. I see. This is gonna suck a lot, actually. Huh. Alright. We have successfully trapped those two on the other side. I need to do that with this one. Or at least I need to get that middle one out of the way. That ball to fuck off. Kindly. Ah! It was 
is a tight squeeze. What am I doing? Okay. This is certainly uh, nerve-wracking, so the puzzle name is quite accurate. I feel safe. Her. We know. Then you get our other camera. There's, uh, there's a whole lot of leapfrogging. Alright, so what do you got over this here? Alright, we got another middle one we need to float on through. There goes my hero. Watch him as he explodes. And I think that's it. I think we got it. Boom, baby. Hell yeah. All right, I'll hydrate, I'll hydrate. Yeah, that was, that was, oof. Yeah, uh, sir, I would have, that would have been a, this would have been a really awful place to come to, like, after just beating the first world. Um, this is not easy. This is without a doubt the hardest problem I encountered. Definitely need to bring a jammer in. Where's one of the other puzzles? Wait, no, that's just three puzzles? Oh! Okay, there are only three puzzles in here. I see. Hmm. So I can chop these down. They respawn, probably because I went through the purple. I don't think I can bring an axe with me. Nope. Hmm. Can I get crushed by a tree? I don't know. Let's check it out. No, I cannot. Duly noted. I wonder if... Hmm, maybe, let me try and cut down. Maybe one of these trees, like, falls on a wall and breaks it. Because we need one of those jammers. So there's either one hidden, or there's a way to out-of-bounds one of them. Oh, there's the jammer. But how do I get up there? Oh. Oh. The axe breaks the wood. I get it. Okay. Ban trees. But what would we do?
nose smashed in by a tree? Oof. I have not had my nose injured or broken, but I have had um, a rock hit part of my head uh, with a pretty sharp edge. It was a pretty heavy rock. I needed to get a few stitches. I just remember it being like when it happened, I like couldn't. Ah! It was like in one of those war scenes where like they're shell shocked and like everything's just kind of like as if you're hearing it from underwater sort of thing. For a good few hours. Do we need to we need to bring the axe? We need to chop down a tree. Hey yo. Where's that axe at? Where'd I put it? Oh, right, I put it right here? Um, axe? Axe? Yeah, you gotta watch out for those, um. Uh, shit. I forgot what they're called. There's, um,. The little, the weeble wobble things that are that are made so they have like the perfect center of balance and like anytime you push them over they immediately right themselves. You gotta watch out for any trees that are uh, weeble, weeble wobble. Alright. My one trick for uh, finding the axe. Like so. <laughs> All right, slap that. We go, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, is it? I think. Someone's got to chop down this tree. We probably are also going to need to cut that tree down, so I'm going to leave the axe. I did not grab the camera. There we go. Whee! Uh, we got ants flying by. In case you need to adjust volume. Key. Go ahead and pave the way for this explodey ball. Okay, so I think, um, wait, what? What did you bounce off of? What? I'm so confused. Did I need to not chop that one down? I'm gonna be so mad if I needed to not chop that one down. There's no fucking way. So confused. Go get him! Go get him! I choose you! Um. Voltorb! Forgot it for a second. <laughs> Aww, they're friends! Alright. Nine, nine bonus puzzles in total, rather than per area. That's, I think that's much more reasonable. 
this was gonna be like nine per area. I was gonna be like, uh, maybe I won't do whatever the bonus is. <laughs> but I wonder, because I think in area C we found an axe. But let's. I want to do the bonus puzzles first. TSA asks to see your bag and Twitch. Nani. All right, on to area B's. On to the B-crit. The B-crit. There it is. Ah, oh, fuck, I have to solve one of these. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just not... I don't know how they would be asking you about in Twitch. Oh, I don't have any Zs on this one. Hmm. I did this. You have a nice, pretty, symmetrical, perfect. That's too long. That's too Z. That's too. That's too much, man. Yeah, cause they they definitely get totally tripped up by that. They don't understand kids these days. I do not know what the fuck I'm doing. Hmm. Just cut it in half. Just cut it in half. Ah! Alright, what if we do... Anyone knows what they're doing in life? That's a fucking lie. Ain't nobody knows what the fuck's going on. All right, I'm gonna section it off.
fixed by that boob, Sorara. Maybe I just need to rotate the square. Uh, you had the PNG finish recently. Have you had a chance to give it a spin yet? I know a lot of people like uh, the model that I have, but I would certainly say a lot of the people that have inspired me have been um, PNG tubers and the creativity. Yeah. You think I wouldn't struggle after just doing the tower? But I feel like perhaps the tower was running off the fumes of my nascent memory. <laughs> oh, welcome on by, Ultra. We just did um, the normal ending and the bad ending, quote unquote. I don't know. It's not really that bad, but it's like. Not the goal. So now we are checking out the bonus puzzles. Which, if this is any indication, are a few degrees more difficult. Oh, oh, I know that. I know that feeling, Iris. And when when all when the when you have the theming all together, all synchronized, ah, it's fantastic. It just feels so good. I will get it eventually. One day. That's why I was really glad the uh, the person that I got my overlays from. Um, no fizz. They tend to do like more cottage core stuff. But I was like, hey, is this something you'd be interested in doing? Would you do this? They gave it a spin. I think it turned out pretty well. I would like to do the trick with the Rubik's Cube where you just fucking break it apart. All of my pieces take up four squares. So if I do that, I can do that, but then I must do this. Cannot do this. This that won't work either. That won't work. That won't work. Nope, that configuration. Too many long pieces together. Hmm. What if I build a square holding place and then I put some arms on it? And then I give it some legs. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's kind of, he's kind of, he's kind of bending down. You know, here's his head. You know, he got his shoulders, and then his legs and knees right here, and here's his arms. He's getting ready to uh, lift up um, this um, piece right here. Anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's all it's all that it's all that, you know, heavy labor. It kinda kinda compresses the spine a bit. It's, uh, humbling you know, that I, I, I have inspired others. Kind of, ugh. I don't know. Feels warm, warm and fuzzies. One hopes that when they put out positive energy, that it goes on to create more in the world. We don't always get um, confirmation that that happens. Sometimes you just gotta do. I think I actually I think I said this earlier on one of the, the time capsules, but sometimes you you do good, hoping that its ripple effects have an overall positive influence in people you will never interact with. But the positive energy that they get um, wouldn't have happened if you hadn't done the good thing that you did. Uh, what is this, Metal Gear? Otica, oh, what's the situation? Hey! Oh, jeez, Iris. Thanks for gifting a subscription to Ultra! Hey! Enjoy the emotes. I have... a couple irons in the fire, so hopefully we'll get a couple more. Then again, I, I don't really have the slots, but, you know, they'll be on BTTV regardless. Damn, Ultra. Sounds like you're a popular person. Alright, we need we need someone to bend this. Where's Bender? Bender? Bender, we got something for you to bend. Alright, we need this straight piece and we need it curved. Literally what you were built for. Hey Celine. Welcome on by. It's been it's been uh it's been a day of emotions. Um, because the ending of this game really gets me tearing up. The triumph of the human soul in the face of insurmountable odds will always get my goats. Ah, 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 swag. Barely off. And now that we've had the fun feels, we get to suffer trying to do bonus stuff. Mm. Mm. Can you tell that I don't do Tetris, like, professionally? Whee! Whoops, clicked outside the screen for a second. <laughs> real, real zero sanity hours. That doesn't work because then, yeah. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how long I spent to get all those random sound effects working. Oh, I'm so happy. I I think I need to make the name of the sound effects stick around for like a couple extra seconds though. Some of them are pretty short. I think it should pop up for like, I think it should stick around for like a couple seconds before it goes away. But like... Oh, 
thank you for the boops, Ultra. All right, I'll hydrate. And a stretch. Ugh. It is a fantastic game. Um, although, for everything that I love about it, I do have like some very mild complaints in that it is... A lot of the philosophy um, and theming is still very Western philosophy, Anglosphere, European. Um, I think if they had introduced some like native people's um, philosophy or um, thoughts of existence or Eastern philosophies and religions, um, I think the game could have been more complete, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like, aw, yeah, thanks for making room in the ziggurat, Celine. I hope you enjoy hanging out as much as I struggle to do Tetris, which is a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, I went, there's like four or five new redeems that I did over the last couple days, because I was just in the groove putting, putting stuff together. Um, I was list I had like Electric Callboy, uh, one of their albums on Spotify just on repeat for like the last 40 hours. I think it's because I saw the um, the music video to Arrow of Love. Hey Iris, thanks for giving this subscription to Celine. Celine! Enjoy the emotes! I certainly will never be, I will, it will, yeah, I'll pretty much never be the kind of person that has, like, a very standard looking set of emotes, like, all from one person, because, uh, as you can see from, like, everything being different, emotes, overlays, all that, half, half the, half the, half the fun of having a character like this is an excuse to throw money at artists that I love and they make me a thing and then I can use the thing and tell other people hey you should check out this artist look at this here's an example of a cool thing they did don't you want a cool thing don't you love cool things hey there we go there we go this is why persistence in the face of adversity will always triumph over squares. <laughs> all right. Let's look at the picture first. Um, all right, that's the picture of the elevator. That's cool, I guess. I'm not sure what these pictures are for. Let's see, orangutan. A medical journal has published a startling new theory about last year's sudden, shocking extinction of the orangutan. See our award-winning video of the last orangutan at this link. Ah! Thank you for the mana, Iris. It will be used very well in uh, protecting the ziggurat against raids of ads. They suggest that the virus responsible was not a new mutation, but a very old one. An ancient virus buried until now in high-latitude permafrost, set free by global warming. The virus may have plagued our, the ancestors of the modern great apes more than 100,000 years ago. Several important questions remain unanswered, including error. More importantly, the study suggests that, based on samples taken from locations around the globe, the incubation period may... If you like this article, you may also like 
How to really avoid heart attacks. You won't believe what's living under this rock. Top 10 Amazing Science Facts. Oscar's Nip Slip Explained by Physics. Video. <laughs> of course it's a fucking video. Uh, how to easily beat any infection. Sponsored link. Let's see. This game was 2015, 2016. Was the big Janet Jackson thing... Wasn't that like the 20... 14 Super Bowl? Football has never actually been my sport of choice, so I don't know my Super Bowls. I remember that being huge on the headlines, and I feel like that is a reference to um, that event. Plate11.png. Hmm, yes. The ancient poets animated all sensible objects with gods or geniuses calling them by the names and adorning them with the properties of woods, rivers, mountains, lakes, cities, nations, and whatever their enlarged and numerous senses could perceive. Excuse me. And particularly, they studied the genius of each city and country, placing it under its mental deity, till a system was formed which took some advantage of enslaved the vulgar by attempting to realize or abstract the mental deities from their objects. Thus began the priesthood, choosing forms of worship from poetic tales, and at length they pronounced that the gods had ordered such things. Thus men forgot that all deities reside within the human breast. 2004? Oh. You know what? You know what? That's fine. Time doesn't exist. Time is a fuck. Um, the 90s were just a few years ago. And I will not hear anything contrary to that statement. <laughs> it's, uh, working now. Uh, each iteration is assigned its own unique name drawn randomly from the database. At the moment, that's a database of online gaming handles, which does sound a bit odd, but I honestly don't think we should spend more time on this. We have unique identifiers, so we're fine. More than that is a luxury we can't afford. If we should happen to have everything else finished on time, I'll go back and generate a new database with more appropriate names. Right now, it just can't be a priority. Huh. Here I always thought the programs selected their own names. Interesting. All right, so round two of bonus puzzles. Let's start on the left. Peekaboo. Hmm. All right, so we got replay and we've got cameras. I think I know what I need to do. Um, where's my prism? Uh. Oh. Oh, we're already starting with this stupid shit. Come on. Thanks, me. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay, now we're gonna move it here. I'll stand on this for a while. So basically, we're gonna need to have one going through the left, a duplicate going through the right. So even if the, even with the little orbs bouncing around blocks one of the paths, we always have at least one laser charging. Like this. Wait, what? 
Ah, I didn't separate them enough. Blood and ashes. All right, let's try that again. All right. Let's put this one at a very sharp angle. Like so. We'll do this button. We'll stand on this. Copy, we'll do another extreme angle. There we go! No! Right at the end! Are you serious? Alright, maybe it's just a fluke. Blood gnashes. Alright. Hmm. I wonder. Could do it like here. You know what? I have another idea. And it's just crazy enough, it might work. Think... Let this go for 20 seconds, so we have plenty of time. Now we have even more redundancy. There we go. Hell yeah. Also, we have a, another round of ads about to charge in. So if you need to adjust your volumes, feel free to do so. Probably won't solve any puzzles in the minute and a half or so that they're running. So I'll see you when it comes back. Yeah, the only L, the only L in that puzzle were those robots trying to stop me. We cannot achieve the goal of the process on our own. We must find a way to help each other. Oracle. You know, I was just thinking of, uh, I saw someone's rendition of, like, some stylized, um, they weren't angels. I think they were, like, um... What was it? The Roman gods, or normally attributed to the Roman gods, where it's it's like the um, celestial bodies being deified, and um, it made me think of an artist. I have a couple pieces from. I got some prints a long time ago. Um, they're things called the Angelarium, and it's certainly worth a gander if you like cosmic, ethereal entities kind of thing. Um, they are very beautiful. I wish I had a good place to hang them up. But alas, I do not have good walls for them to exist upon. They're just kind of sitting there in nice, fancy framing. Okay, so I can hit that. Let me hit that and that. Will do nothing for me. Cool. Oh. I could go over here? No. I can go here, though. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, it is. I don't remember the artist's name, but if you search for the Angel Arium, you know what? Let me type it out. Ah. Oh, actually, that is.
They also do have like a little, I can't remember if it's like a tarot deck or if it's just a card deck size sample of all their um, art. Um, that is also fairly decent. Um, I think I picked that up just because I couldn't, I couldn't get every single piece of their art. If I, it's one of those things where like, if I got um, fuck you money, like winning the lottery, um, I would love to get like one of everything and just have like themed walls with the whole set. Um, okay, so I definitely need to get the camera on this side. Then perhaps, you know what? No. Let's get the camera on this side. Just kind of do a little bit of leapfrogging. Leap, leap forging. Okay, all right, all right. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, we got our second prism. Excellent, excellent. Now we can curve the bullet. Oh, I'm going to need my camera on this one to block that. Bada bing. Hmm, I see. If I do that, though. I mean, yeah, it opens. Yeah, that won't work. No, I need... This and that. I need to move one of them to the other side. Whoops, not that one. Grab this one. Perfect. Here, block that out. I think I have the yeast nod. I think it's called. And um, I think it's the other one's sort of an. I think yeast nod's like the um, sort of spacey figure in the sky that looks like it's sort of surrounding a planet or other or. And then the other one I have, um, I can't remember the name of the other one. I just remember I really like the oranges, um, like the, the hot colors in it. They really stood out to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, last week, um, I was corrected. Um, um, hats don't go on the nose. Um, so I, I, I fixed it, and now I can appropriately be a, um, a fancy person, according to my book over here, um, How to Look Smart. <laughs> Alright, I need to get that open. Wait, why am I... I see. 
Alright, so I do need to get a blue laser over there, but to do that... I don't have a good angle. Hmm, 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 I think I need to move it over to another window. Let's do a bit of leapfrogging backwards. Ooh, hmm. Am I missing something? Exactly the right angle. Not exactly. But we can fix it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So we have this. Blood and ashes. All right, that's in the way. Yeah, it's serious worming time. over to here and here, grab the camera, get it to the other side, lock that down, pop this on over here, link up, link up, go back to the camera, and that is another piece down. Huzzah! Good shoes. All right, what do we got left? We got this guy, this big old, big old temple looking thing. Cat's cradle. Well, I don't see any string. I also don't see any spoons, so we're not, we don't have any nursery rhymes going on. Wucky lasers. Oh, my head hurts. Okay, so ultimately, I need to get a blue and red laser in. What do I have up here? Nothing. I think I get a red laser from there to there. Look, these lasers. You know, I know, I know. Uh, knowing is half the battle, but the other 
two twenty-five percent are red lasers and blue lasers. And uh, this puzzle. Ooh, this puzzle has got some blue and red lasers. I tell you what. Of course not. <laughs> Who would say that? <laughs> Certainly not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we can. All right, so we got that. So I think now we can simplify. Okay, now with that open, we can take this out. All right. So this guy can hit that. Get this back online. Um, we need to block this. Oh, crap cakes. No, I need that red laser. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I need to steal that box. Red. How is that being blocked? Oh, because the blue. Mm, I get it now. All right. Okay, we need to take this. And we need it to also have that. So we got one, two, three, four. So no, no pressure, dude. Ah, crap. Stop it. Why are you oscillating? not reaching. Okay. Let's try this again. That, that, that. So we got one, two, three, four. Okay, as long as we have that online, we can deal with this clusterfuck a second. We'll go in here, take this. Okay, now that we have this, we can put it on a box? Yeah, we can put it on a box. So we want this, this, on a box. What? Why did you stop working?
Why are you like this? Stop it. Oh, it's interrupting the laser to up there. I see, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. I need a better place for the box. Um. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. But I can move this. Let's move this here. Actually, no. I have a better idea. We'll put it on the box. Like this. All right. How about this? All right. I right, hit this and this like that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Blood and ashes. What the? No! Oh! I need the box! Oh, you bastard. How dare you. Um, you know what? I think we can do this. All right, first we got to open this. Aha! Good enough! Hell yeah! This one wasn't too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's check these outside areas real quick for anything. Hmm, doesn't look like there's any shenanigans in the outside. Oh, I never thought I would figure out how to get to this place. It's beautiful, but somehow sad. Just gotta walk like an Egyptian. Now the, uh... What's that song? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. 